Welcome to Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. Uh, this is one of the deluxe villas DVC resorts here at Disney World. Just a walk away from Disney Springs. We're going to check out this resort. It's massive. I was just walking around trying to get to like main lobby areas. It's very difficult to kind of navigate because it is so large. But come along with us to Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. All right, <laughs> let's give you the lay of the land. Uh, again, this thing is massive. Um, so we'll try to cover as much as possible. I'll show you the very cool things uh, I think that are part of this resort but we're kind of in this main hub area right here um, and it is a DVC resort however they do offer rooms to the general public that are not DVC specific but let's kind of go over let's go left to right just because I want to kind of end over on this side but you do have the treehouse villas here on the right hand side of the boat in case you're uh, not familiar with this area this is the treehouse villa vacation club there are 60 tree houses all together. They can hold up to nine guests, three bedrooms, two baths. Eight of these units are handicap accessible. There is a swimming pool here. And the check-in is over at Saratoga. When you're staying here, you're going to be checking in over at Saratoga. There is personal parking spots by the units also when you, you do bring your own uh, personal vehicle. Uh, but they're actually going to go under some uh, renovation, their pool areas at least, uh, going to go under some renovation. So there's going to be some construction out here, and that's pretty much uh, going to be happening across the resort. A bunch of their pools, I think most of them, are going under some kind of refurbishment. Starting in October, I think these um, are getting some TLC along with maybe the grandstand as well. But it's a bunch of their pools that are, and I think it's all of them, that are getting some kind of refurbishments uh, coming up. October to December-ish, I think, and then there's also some happening in January up until, I think, March or April. Um, so some construction getting ready to happen on Saratoga Springs, but again, they've got the grandstand area, there's villas here, you've got the carousel, which has got some villas over here. Um, they have the paddock, which is that part of the resort that's got villas, and then the springs also have villas along with Congress Park. They're all villas. Um, I think they're all studios from what I kind of gathered on the website. So you are getting a larger room with staying at Saratoga Springs um, and you're getting pretty good convenient um, walkways and transportation to Disney Springs. So you can take the boat over to Disney Springs. You can walk to Disney Springs. You can also take boats to French Quarter, Port Orleans and Riverside. So, I mean, this resort is just Mass Davis senses, and I'll show you where that is over here. They've got courts, tennis courts, and things like that. They have model areas for DVC. Um, so let's just kind of walk around and check out this resort because it is so very large. So here is the August recreation calendar. We've seen July because we've been to the other resorts, um, but starting at 8:30 at the High Rock Springs pool deck, and I'll show you what that is in a minute. They do have some movies playing Monday through Saturday on select days but you can check out the resort activities here. They were actually just doing some kind of a resort activity or poolside activity down there where they were dancing around and playing in the pool. So you can also rent some bikes. You can rent movies or you can go to the movies here. They have like a little movie area. Good Lord. All right, that community hall. And then scan this code if you'd like to see some more information on recreation. And again, this will take place here. And this is on the rocks, uh, or sorry, High Rock Spring. They have a, a bar called On the Rocks, I read that wrong, but a really nice pool area. It's huge um, and very nice. They do have different pools across property. But again, this is the High Rock Spring one. And I love this fountain here. It's gorgeous. Right across from there, they have the artist palette. And I believe this is their quick service. So we'll go check out a menu and then their hours as well. They do serve breakfast from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Kind of move where you can see it. And a kid's menu. They do serve lunch and dinner from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. But a lot of choices. Looks like a food court, so we're going to go ahead and check it out. But again, it did really have a hard time kind of focusing in on the menu. And the hours are 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. We have some outdoor seating in here as well for the artist palette. So let's go in and check out their quick serve. I don't think I've ever been in this one before. And if I have, it's been a really long time. Kind of like squids. So yeah, you go up there, you place your order up there. You can do mobile order here as well for your resort. You can just go up there and order the food. Kind of go in here and check out what they've got. 
It is kind of like a little grocery area as well. So they've got your frozen foods. They're gonna have liquor and beer. So this is kind of like your resort gift shops that you would normally see, except this is kind of in their like quick service area. You can get liquors, beers, ciders, uh, and these all do come with cooktops. So with a lot of their villas. So you can get some stuff in here, take it back to the room and do some shopping and have some snacks for the rest of the week. Oh, they have Saratoga sparkling water. And this is themed after New York and Saratoga. 1800s, late 1800s is this resort. So as far as theming, not existed because Disney's not that old. Oh, that's fun. They have a bullseye cupcake. And there's a 50th celebration cupcake. I think all the resorts have similar 50th cupcakes. Cheesecakes, little desserts, milks and yogurts, salads, and some butter, some of the bigger drinks as well down here, the two liters. And then again, you can make some sandwiches. This is highly recommend this as you can throw some sandwiches in like a little cooler bag, take it to the park and you don't have to pay for food in the parks. Although it does get pretty expensive because their food is more expensive here at Disney because they can. But yeah, they've got your big bags of chips. They got your breakfast items here. Let's look at some visuals of the menu. all sorts of good stuff. Looks like really good pizza. Like really good pizza. Oh, it's because they have a pizza oven back there. All right, that makes sense. Some flatbreads, chicken. Wow. They got a lot of good stuff. I have to try some of their food maybe. That looks fantastic. But again, highly recommend doing mobile order. Just pick it up as it doesn't look like they're really ordering food up here. So, some popcorn, chips, just like you normally would. Queso, salsa, beef jerky, fill up your resort cups. I got some Joffrey's coffee, and creamer, breakfast items. I imagine these are more popular than most. They got some bread as well over here. And some liquor back there as well in the liquor cabinet. Crazy busy in here. Walk this way. And this is gonna be more like their gift shop, little merchandise shop. I do wanna poke around here because they all do these cakes, don't they? In the resorts. I'm so confused by that. Huh. Must be a high demand for cakes when you're staying at a hotel. Oh, you can do some artists. Teams. Maybe the artist of the day. Nice. And then they do have a gift shop. It actually is kind of small. I'm not gonna lie. There's some Magic Band Plus, but really not a massive selection. Definitely walk to Disney Springs and get Magic Band Plus stuff. Disney Vacation Club. We've seen a lot of this stuff in other resorts as well, so not a lot new here. There's your toiletries and your personal care items, sunscreen, Advil, Imodium, all sorts of different things. So you're taken care of here as well, as most resorts will have. You got some diapers, baby wipes. Ooh, they even have socks. All right. That's different. Baby bottle, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrushes. Ooh, just one toothbrush though. Yeah, so very small. They have the H2O Plus like most of your resorts will that you can buy. They have these in the room. So these are the shampoos and body lotions and stuff that you'll see in your rooms when you go. They do have some jewelry. That's kind of different. I like that watch. It's got like Mickey on it. Some nice jewelry. 
That necklace is new, and I only know that because I saw it on like one of the posts. Ooh, they have 50th anniversary earrings. These are really cool castle earrings as well. But I really do like those balloons. They're kind of like rose gold back there. You can kind of see them. They're back there in the back. Very nice. You can get your Epcot ball cookie jar. All right. So not a massive gift shop, but a gift shop that fits. Um, they do have some Saratoga Springs merch over here. Looks like a hat you would wear riding a horse. What do they call that? I'm trying to decide about something. Oh, okay. Nice leather bag. It's got, is that mini? Or Mickey? I can't really tell which one it is riding that horse. 2004 was when this opened. And some cool sweatpants. Ooh, that's a nice jacket. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah, I thought it was a vest at first. 60 bucks. Riding a Surrey bike. Saratoga Springs mug. To go mug. It's pretty. 35, they got a magnet. And that's 13 bucks. That's not Saratoga specific, but I don't know if I've seen this jacket before. 100 bucks? It's kind of like a spirit jersey. What the heck? Well, that's cool. Oh, I didn't even notice this. A pillow right underneath the purses that we just passed. Purses were 70 bucks. This is 40 bucks. It has the DVC logo there. I'm assuming you can only buy the DVC stuff with your DVC card? Question mark? So I would assume that some other people stay here that are general public that don't really have a DVC card per se. But. Alright, yeah. So that's in the artist palette. You have your quick service. And you also have two gift shops this way. It is the lobby off of where we just came in. You get your lobby area, like your check in. It's got that smell to it, Disney Resort. Supposedly, that some of them share the same smells, which I thought only Beach Club had an exclusive scent, but it's supposedly a lot of the resorts. Oh, oh. <laughs> they got horses from Disney in here. Makes sense. Because Saratoga is known for its racetracks. So they obviously had to theme it. <gasps> Pegasus. This is a really, really nice little quiet area. It goes way up too. Holy cow. What an impressive little lobby area. A horse carriage out here. Let's go out here because we'll kind of tuck back in on the other side. Even the entryways of Disney have like little seating areas. They're really nice. Pretty impressed with this resort. I haven't been here since like 2013, I think. Oh, heck yeah, you can get a photo op here. I'm sure you can jump in there. They don't have a rope up. That's awesome. This is like Bridgerton. Yeah, you get a picture in here. Hmm. Oh, and Disney did take down their final uh, signs because they used to have signs out here in front of the resorts that were like, we are cleaning for COVID. And those officially came down. So everything that you would have seen for COVID has been taken off the resorts. Oh, you can do a check-in. You can do a check-in at other resorts as well. It's not just this one that's specific. But if you scan that QR code, it'll take you to a check-in page. Check your reservation. There's a performance hall. It did say they did like movies and like performances and stuff in here randomly, which that would be kind of cool. You got the port co-share down here, bell services. 
Uh, and you can actually see the Lake Buena Vista golf course, which is part of the resort, so you can actually book a tee time. So if you come in here and you want to golf, definitely check out Saratoga Springs. This resort is very quiet. I mean, I was at the deluxe resorts and I thought, like the other deluxe resorts, and I thought they were very quiet. This one's like silent. I mean, that was the busiest place in there, the hardest palette, but that was because people were getting their food. But even that was quiet, so. I love resorts because I don't have to talk as much because they don't play music really loud here, which I enjoy. All right, we were just right out here. That was the entrance to the artist palette. We're gonna over, go over here into the Turf Club, uh, which is their restaurant here at Saratoga. We have not eaten here yet, but it's kind of got like a, like a golf feel, like a New York golf course clubhouse kind of feel to it from what I've seen as far as pictures are concerned. So the artist palette, and this is the Turf Club in here. I think you can go in. I don't think we did stop me. If they do, they'll yell at me, but let's go check out their menu because right here's the artist point. We could have come this way, or the artist palette, sorry. Artist point was what used to be over at, what was it? Wilderness Lodge, thank you. I was blanking on that, Logan. Let's check out their restaurant, some menus here. Here's a look at the Turf Club bar and grill menu. Oof. Goodness, the mussels sound good. The French onion soup, if it was cold out, sounds great. Charcuterie, prime rib, salmon. Mint julep, interesting. I don't know if you can get that many places except for Disneyland. They do have a mint julep here. It's an alcoholic beverage. I'm sure you could get that without the bourbon. Sorry, my camera really hates these glasses because it picks up it picks up these shadows and reflections off of the glass of people walking by. Uh, and if you want to see the dining selections, scan that code. People are walking back here, so why not? There's like a little lounge back here. Oh, it is a lounge. Okay. Hello. In the park. It's kind of quiet back here. They got like the racing horse shirts up here. There aren't any out here. All right. But this is where the turf club is. Over here to the right. Whoa. I've never seen it in person, just in pictures. I always look like my grandma's. Oh, they're going to party back there. Huh. Hmm. I guess we can go out this way. Let's see what's stopping me. Ooh, outdoor seating. So if this wasn't so hot out, some great outdoor seating here. Okay, there's where you check in. You go check in there for your reservations, for your tea times, for the golf course here. Wow, very nice. All right, so there, that was a bar back there. There was like a mirror right there on the right-hand side of me. As I passed by, it said that it was open, but it was serving, I think, at like three o'clock, which is pretty normal for Disney bars. So that's the little lounge back there if you want to drink it, grab a drink. The main pool there, but we're gonna walk this way because there is senses a Disney spa and those are uh, the spas that they put at the deluxe resorts that are supposed to be some of the most premier spas. So definitely check out a senses if you're coming to one of these resorts. Actually, you can even book these if you're not staying at Disney property, you can actually book a time. So yeah, definitely check out senses. Sounds like a great experience. So reading the sign actually on the door, that one's temporarily closed. Now you can scan your magic band there to get into like the fitness center, but it does say that senses in here is actually temporarily closed and no operation hours. But that is where the fitness center is and it's supposed to be one of the largest fitness centers in all of property. So check it out. Looking at the maps again, if we would have kept walking back there by the golf course, they also do have their tennis courts and a half court basketball court as well. So Grand Floridian is not the only one with the basketball court that I now know. Um, I don't know if we're gonna necessarily walk back here by all of these. They each do have like a pool area. Um, this one does, and this one does. I guess if you're staying in the carousel, you'll actually have to walk to this pool over here uh, in the paddock. 
over here um, and their bar also is over here so they don't really have anything over here they do have a grill and do have grills out here um, but it does appear uh, and then you can actually get to the treehouse village by walking back over here by the grandstand um, which I think we can kind of walk over here and check out the pool area uh, over there by the grandstand and see what their pool area is like and then when we walk back over to Springs we'll actually check out Congress Park and their pool area as well they do have deluxe villas here, so these rooms are huge. These buildings are massive, um, and there's so many of them. They're so spread out. This resort is very spread out because of how big the rooms are. They do like the deluxe villas, so a lot of times studios, one-bedroom studios, then they have two, three. Rooms are massive uh, and very, very expensive. They are deluxe, um, but this is called the Grandstand, and at the Grandstand, they actually have a pool area with like little splashes. It's a smaller pool, but they do have the backstretch bar so yeah, they've got some bars, they got some like drinks and snacks and stuff like that. But not too far from the lobby, they have a splash pad, they have these splashing around, so it's a very nice little pool area. Pretty crowded, but for a secondary pool, it does seem to have everything you'd want. Bathrooms back there as well. So, and this is right across from the grandstand. So the grandstand goes out this way, there's more resort out that way as well. Um, but another thing to mention, a lot of these villas, because they are villas, do have like kitchenettes so you can cook food and stuff like that um, they do have like fridges and everything else like that so you can store your food for weeks uh, on end in these hotels um, or in this hotel but yeah pretty convenient to go over and grab a snack from that pool area some drinks so we're actually going to head back up here towards springs um, and check out some of the other areas for this resort but uh there's not i mean there's not a ton so, I mean, we saw a lot of it in this main lobby area, but we're gonna kind of walk back towards Springs and I'll show you some other stuff. Being a deluxe Disney resort, you are gonna pay quite a bit of money here. I think it said on average around $400 um, based on your stay. And then depending on the time of year, especially now as Christmas and them are starting to approach, those times of year and then summer are gonna be very expensive to stay here at Saratoga Springs. And actually has been going up in price quite a bit because Disney Springs has become the premier place to kind of stay and hang out. And it's just a 15 to 20 minute walk, depending on where you are on this resort or a quick boat or bus ride over. And here's your main bus stop here. It's called the Springs. You can catch your bus to the parks or other resorts or wherever they might be going. Hi, Disney security. Um, Disney Vacation Club. So there's some Disney DVC villas over there. And those look spectacular. They got like the outdoor balcony area. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'd love to tour one of those. I don't want to go in the preview center and I'll show you what that is, but you can rent bikes here. There is an arcade in there in the pool area. You can rent Surrey bikes, regular bikes, and talk about a resort that you can really bike around. I mean, it's massive. So that might actually be worth it to kind of explore the resort. All right, so there's a height requirement to pedal the Surrey bikes, which is the bikes with the benches, to be 58 inches. Wow, it's pretty tall. But a lot of it's because you have to be able to reach the pedals, so. They're a lot of fun, I highly recommend them. Here are the hours of operation for horsing around rentals, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, so yeah, regular guests that are staying here that are not DVC members do have to pay the full price there. Must be 18 years of age to rent and drive Surrey bikes. Interesting. This is the thing I found interesting. They've got like sporting equipment for rent. All right, but yeah, here's a look at the Surrey bike up close. They are a ton of fun. They got some storage right here, um, but yeah, you have to be able to reach the pedals because they they get going. I mean, they're quick, so if you don't watch it, you become very dangerous. So that's why they require a certain age limit here. Oh, and it even has like a little path and like a little restricted area. But yeah, you're gonna wear your helmets and safety belts and all sorts of things. But this looks like a lot of fun. Tactile. Reading. Oh, it's very quiet in here. All sorts of different things. You can paint in here. Rent. I got some recreation people in here hanging out. Wow. All right. So a really cool area. Wow. So you can get some movies right here. Pop them in. Wow. A lot of the recent ones as well. Wow. 
be able to start with this. Yes. That sounds awesome. Yes, buddy. Ooh, an animator cost. We do. Okay. Does that have to come from Okay, there you go. Some scavenger hunt. That sounds like fun. Surrey bikes, 7 p.m. Campfires, movies. You can just come back here and rent them out. Very cool. And here you can do laundry as well. You do have to pay for laundry at Disney. Um, and there's like little coin machines. They actually had these same laundry um, machines when we were at Disney College program, but you just scan your magic band. They have washers and dryers in there. But some really great theming out here. I mean, just look at these buildings. This is a very impressive. Um, and then they do have a preview center here. So they actually have rooms that you can kind of tour around and see as far as Disney Vacation Club. And these are where some of their villas are back here for DVC. Over here and in the Springs area, you're gonna have a lot more of your Disney Vacation Club buildings. But again, this is, it feels so special. Like this resort feels so cool. Um, and then down here, they've got like the preview center for DVC. So they're gonna have different rooms on display so you can kind of see them before you guys purchase your DVC memberships. And you can, like they'll take you in, they'll talk to you at 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. They'll talk to you about Disney Vacation Club. It is expensive. Um, you have a lot of people that think it's not worth the money spending it. So I don't know. It, it really just depends on how much you visit, I believe. Like DVC is very dependent on you visiting quite a bit. So yeah, that's their DVC offices in here. You can check them out. And they'll sit you down for like a tutorial as most vacation clubs places will sit you down, have you watch some things. They'll talk about some options for like an hour or so and then you can decide on your purchase, but you got tennis courts and stuff back here. That's where the basketball court is as well. You can kind of see the basketball court maybe in this area back here by the preview center. But yeah, we're going to keep walking this way and head back towards Disney Springs so I can try and show you where the walkway is. So that way you know where to get to Disney Springs from here. Oh, watch out for that bunny. Good car. Poor bunny. See him over there hanging out. I got ran over little bunny. All right, and across over here. More impressive bridges walk or uh, riding into resorts. I just love, I don't know what it is about bridges, like small bridges at these resorts, but they kill me. I love them. But yeah, just kind of look at this resort. It's so beautiful, it's so pretty. And actually, if it cooled off, oh, that's pretty cool. So they take you to your room in a golf cart if you don't want to walk out there. Huh, fascinating. All right, uh, but yeah, if you don't want to want to walk, you can come out to one of these rooms. Like if these are your rooms, you just jump on that golf cart and bell services take you out here with your luggage, especially if you've ridden a lift in or one of the buses. But uh, man, what an impressive resort. So, so big. We're headed back here to the Congress Park area because these are the villas that are closest to Disney Springs and will actually have views of Disney Springs because I did want to show you each of these little villas will have its own park specific bus stops so you can actually catch a bus at each of these villas and most of your Disney resorts that have like a large layout you will find that there are bus stops throughout Coronado Caribbean um, or similar as well as Saratoga I think Key West is the same I want to say, let's see what else. I'm trying to think of the other resorts off the top of my head that would be similar to those. I think that's pretty much the only ones. Like the big resorts that are massive Coronado Caribbean. Like I said, Old Key West. Walking up on these, I'll just mention because there's a family in there. I don't want to point the camera at them. They have a vending machine. They have park hours. They have park reservation sign that says reservations are required so you can make them. Uh, and sometimes. I don't see them, but they might have park maps or something like that. But they also tell you like what time the buses are expected, what's the weather supposed to be like and stuff like that as well. So look at these rooms. My goodness. They are massive. Got huge windows for the living area. They got a nice balcony. And if you were in Congress Park, so these are the Congress Park villas, you have this view over into Disney Springs. Wow. You can watch the Ampa cars going through when Boathouse has the Ampa cars out. See paddlefish. You got the friendship boats that run to Port Orleans, French Quarter, and Riverside. But this is a great view, and sometimes you can see the fireworks over that way towards Epcot, and sometimes Magic Kingdom. But 
I would want one of these rooms because it's just a short jump over to Disney Springs and you can walk from this resort to Disney Springs or you can catch that boat to French Quarter and Port Orleans Riverside and hang out at their resorts. And they have one of the coolest bars over there, which we'll talk about in the next video or the next video. I can't remember which one it's at, but come along with us because we're getting ready to head on out of Saratoga Springs and go over to our next videos, which are Port Orleans Riverside and French Quarter. And like I said, enjoy your little amp car viewing from your resort. Wow. And Congress Park does have its own little pool area. And it did not have a bar. But great views here for these buildings. And the pool's kind of like down that way. My video stopped because my camera overheated. So it's like a two minute walk to that pool over there. It didn't have a bar or anything. So only downside of Congress Park. So our time here at Saratoga Springs has come to an end. That was a lot of fun. I haven't been to this resort for like seven years now. It's my first time back and I would say uh, one of the best resorts here, especially now because Disney Springs is so desirable for restaurants, shopping, entertainment. It has the works over here. Uh, and I highly recommend staying in this Congress Park area right behind me that I'm filming in front of. But other than that, this resort was a lot of fun to tour around. Very, very big resort. It is expensive as being a deluxe. Um, so you're going to spend a lot of money to stay here. It is a DVC member one, but you can stay here as a general public uh, guest because they do offer that option as well. So check out this resort. It is a really, really nice resort. I did enjoy it. Um, other than that, check us out in the next video. It will be Port Orleans, French Quarter or Riverside. And then uh, check out the next one because it'll be the other one that we didn't do in this next video. So thanks for watching. We hope to see you guys in the next video and we really hope to see you guys at the parks.